let's talk about brace joints actually brace joints are commonly of two types and first one is bar joint and second one is lap joint however the two types have been adopted for bracing processes in several ways the conventional bar joint provides a limited area for bracing thus jeopardizing the strength of the part of the joint to increase the fraying areas in brace joints the mating parts are often scarfed or stepped or otherwise altered of course additional processing is usually required in the making of the parts for the special joints one of the particular difficulties associated with a scarfed joint is the problem of maintaining the alignment of the parts before and during brazing and there are figures a butt joint so this is joint another joint and this one is one type of joint and this is another joint and there are lap joints and some other examples of lap joints lap joints are more widely used in brazing since they can provide a relatively large interface area between the parts an overlap of at least three times the thickness of the thinner part is generally considered good design practice an advantage of brazing over welding in lab joints is that the filler metal is bonded to the base parts throughout the entire interface area between the parts rather than only at the edges or at discrete spots clearance between mating surfaces of the base parts is important in brazing the clearance must be large enough so as not to restrict molten filler metal from flowing throughout the entire interface yet if the joint clearance is too great capillary action will be reduced and there will be areas between the parts where no filler metal is present joint strength is affected by clearance there is an op optimum clearance value at which joint strength is maximized the issue is complicated by the fact that the optimum depends on base and filler metals joint configuration and processing conditions typical brazing clearances in practice are 0.025 to 0.25 mm these values represent the joint clearance at the brazing temperature which may be different from room temperature clearance depending on thermal expansion of the base metal and there is a diagram actually graph so horizontally there is strength of filler metal as cost and this is the clearance and this is the strength and this is the joint strength vertically so this is the recommended area for this one cleanliness of the joint surface prior to brazing is also important surfaces must be free of oxides oils and other contaminants in order to promote weighting and capillary attraction during the process as well as bonding across the entire interface chemical treatments such as solvent cleaning and mechanical treatments such as wire brushing and sandblasting are used to clean the surface after cleaning and during brazing operation fluxes are used to maintain surface cleanliness and promote weighting for capillary action in the cleanliness clearance between fine surface and finally thank you for being with me